Hey hi, this is Sandeep and in this tutorial I'm going to explain you that how we can populate a primary key with the help of a sequence. See, <coughs> there are some business scenarios in which uh, there is a primary key which has to be populated with the help of a sequence in the DB. Okay, so how it all happens with the help of the ADF, today I'm going to explain you that. So let's have a look first of all on the table. I have created a table called as EMP details and its column are, columns are email department salary and employee ID all of these are non malleable okay <coughs> apart from that uh, this one is unique email address is the unique and EMP ID is basically will basically be a number though I have created it as wirecare but uh, it will be containing I mean you can insert obviously numbers the wirecare here so <coughs> It will be containing a number and that number will basically be uh, generated with the help of a sequence okay so <coughs> now how we can achieve this using ADFs first of all we have to define this table right now in this table there is no data <coughs> now what we'll do we will go to the ADF and we'll simply create EO and VO on this table okay so I have already created the EO VO and expose the and expose the view under the application module now here are the attributes where attributes present now if you go to the employee ID double click it here it will show you entity attribute and it will show you its type is string but you want this uh, employee ID to be populated with the help of a sequence right so you're gonna select here as DB sequence so as you select your DB sequence it's actually not going to map it with some sequence what will happen is that while the creation of a record in the inside this table when a user tries to create a record it will make you fill each and every detail and actually uh, when you are creating this I mean this will be populated with the help of a sequence right so I don't want the user to update it so I will click never updatable as never and refresh after will be selected as insert automatically now what we need to pay attention is that uh, though it is DB sequence but whenever it is creating ADF will be accepting the data from the user and it will be going to push the data inside the DB then while pushing the data it will uh, actually populate this attribute with a negative value okay so that means directly this will populate it as a negative value and then it will try to insert this negative value into the attribute into that column of the table so ADF uses its own sequence which is not defined at the table basically it is defined over here in the ADF framework only inside somewhere and it, it through that sequence through that sequence only it will generate a series of number another time if you insert a number if you insert a record inside this table then it will generate another negative number okay so it will take the help of the sequence built-in sequence that it it itself possesses and with that it will create a negative numbers now our job is basically done over here now <coughs> from area from the front end we are going to give the negative values to the DB to this column now how rest of the work is handled here what we will do we will define a sequence okay which will be needed here so I have already defined a sequence here here is our sequence and here are its details okay so actually you can just right click over here if you have SQL developer installed you can just right click here in the sequence and uh, go to new and this window will pop up and fill these details that I want them to by one start with let's say when minimum value and all these stuffs right so after that basically it will start uh, with, with the help of this sequence okay it will start the number from one and it will go ahead so we want the user just to fill all of all of the details and this sequence will basically assign the value of the primary key which will be for the, that employer click OK so our So our sequence is ready now. Another job is how we can make the use of sequence because auto, uh, because automatically ADF is going to throw the negative values into that. So we'll create one trigger and our trigger is here, which I have already created. You can write this uh, and this this uh, name is on EMP details. 
and it will be triggered before insert on this table for each row begin whatever logic I have written here is if the new EMP ID okay if the new EMP ID whatever the value is going to be inserted is null or <coughs> is negative then select S and this was actually the name of the sequence which we already just saw select next valve from the sequence and insert it into the new value from dual okay so this is how it's gonna be I mean what this trigger will do this will this will be actually triggered before any insert made on the uh, made on EMP detail table so as you see that ADF will try to insert a record into this table with negative EMP ID then this will be triggered this condition will get satisfied and the control will be somewhere here in the PLSQL uh, in the trigger and this will say that I will make the use of the sequence in order to uh, have some positive uh, data value into this okay so once it inserts some positive value into the EMP ID after that insert is going to be done and after that this new new EMP ID which which will be inserted into the record into the EMP detail record will actually be a meaningful positive value okay so that is how it's all done over here in the area so it's all set right now the stage is all set I will just run it in order to show you <coughs> so here is our output we can create record and we can say uh, email address department oh sorry department okay it will throw some validation error uh, I'll put this as number as it wants IT okay so as you see right now EMP ID is minus 2 that is ADF is going to put minus 2 by default okay so it will put ADF will put minus 2 and it will try to insert this whole record into the uh, database into the EMP detail table so when it tries to insert before the insert only our trigger here this trigger will get fired and this will say okay boss this EMP ID is having a negative value then I'm gonna make the use of the sequence and insert the meaningful positive value into new EMP ID and after that insert is going to be made so that the record itself will have some positive value of EMP ID okay so let's say commit and it will actually try to push the data and see as it puts the data inside this the EMP ID changes here to 1 why it changes because actually the EMP ID that got inserted inside the EMP detail table was actually 1 okay and this got refreshed here because if you see EMP ID refresh after insert is automatically selected here because it's a DB sequence for the DB sequence it knows that uh, ADF will populate something and after that after the insert is made uh, maybe some trigger will get fired and after that it may get some new value so based on that new value I mean it will get some new value so because of that logic uh, ADF will by default select the insert refresh after insert so since it is selected the data gets refreshed over here after the insert and it shows us to let's <coughs> just go ahead and create one more record so this time EMP ID will be minus 3 and I have actually put it uh, updatable as never uh, so that I don't want the user to enter any value over here because I want the ADF to generate negative values to push it to the tab table and after that in the database only triggers and sequences are going to take care as I already described see <coughs> I have selected EMP ID is updatable never I don't want the user to even enter his own employee ID okay so this time it's gonna IDF is gonna push minus 3 into the database and the trigger will get fired it will call the sequence and some value from the sequence will be populated and after that this will get refreshed over here based on the final value inserted in the record see it inserted it as EMP ID 2 it got refreshed over here if you go to the database now you can check our EMP table if you go to the data 
you will find these two records inserted by us EMP IDs 1 or 2 okay I hope this explains you well that how we can make the use of sequences while populating primary keys I'll see you in the next tutorial